Hello, welcome to a brand new tutorial from AZF TV. It's Ahmed, and today I'm going to show you um, how to calculate the price of a cryptocurrency. We've heard a lot about Bitcoin, Nida, and the likes. But the question is, what's the mathematical analysis behind all these coins? How do you ascertain for the price of a crypto? So quickly, the price of a cryptocurrency is always determined by the market capitalization all over the circulating supply. So any cryptocurrency, whether Bitcoin, whether Ethereum, whether Token, Shiba, Saitama, Shibnobi, all of them, this is how you ascertain the price of the crypto. So when you go to coinmarketcapitalization.com over here, you can find Bitcoin being the first cryptocurrency listed over here. This is the market cap. I've done a video about the, the explanation of the terminology. So when you see market cap, we, from the lay point of view, what we will just want to mean is that the amount of people, the amount of money that people have placed in that project or have put in that cryptocurrency. So if you are thinking that Bitcoin or whatsoever is a scam, this is the amount that people have invested in it. That's 809 billion USD dollars. It has fallen. It was actually 1 trillion and it has fallen down. No one knows what is happening. But it, mean, it means one or two of the other smaller coins will be getting the market capitalization. Because normally money is invested in crypto doesn't normally go out. It either move from one project to another because the total market capitalization of cryptocurrency at the world exchange is still two trillion. You understand the total market stock or stock market value is thirty seven point five trillion according to Forbes and Nasdaq and those people. So two trillion of it is kept in cryptocurrency. So that means that people who are thinking that crypto is going to vanish one day is going to crypto has come to stay just like mobile money ether money and the likes it has come to stay it's not going anywhere it's the future of money whether you like it or not whether you believe in it or not it has come to stay very soon people are not going to hand money like hand fiat money like the way we do like holding Ghana City, holding Naira, holding Rand, Riyadh, Dinar, whatever. It's not going to be that again. Everyone is going to change his or her currency into something digital. That way it's safe. That way someone cannot barge into your room and take your money and go with it. In cryptocurrency, someone can come into your room and tell you that. I've seen Bitcoin on your table, so I'm going to take it. No, you can't do that in crypto. You can't do that. Your cryptocurrency is on your wallet. Even if the person knows your password, he can't make any transaction unless he knows your backup phrase or he has your fingerprint. You understand? So we are talking about the security and the safety of money. If people are using Bitcoin to scam people, it doesn't mean that Bitcoin is a scam. So it's all part of um, the internet world. People, there are always bad guys. There are always people who try to take advantage of innocent people. That's why I've dedicated time and hours trying to do video, trying to elaborate um, uh, our beginners in cryptocurrency for you to understand the paradigm of cryptocurrency. So let's let's move on that's just by the by so every cryptocurrency is determined by the amount of money that people have kept in the project that's what we call it financial management market capitalization over the circulating supply what's the circulating supply is the amount of the crypto in circulation the amount of crypto in people's wallets in the lay point of view understand so let's look at the price analysis what will cause an increase in the price of a crypto if Bitcoin is going to move from 42,000 to a 60,000 what is going to account for that what is going to account for an increase in the cryptocurrency that's that's what I've shown over here an increase in the price will mean that people are investing more that's the market capitalization is going up whereas the circulating supply is coming down 
So that means people are investing money in and the circulating supply, the amount of coin which everyone is reducing that was attained for what, the increase in the price. It doesn't normally, this equation or uh, the circulating supply reducing don't normally affect uh, major cryptocurrencies because Bitcoin doesn't undergo burning process but when you look at coins like Shinja, that Shibnobi, it's a very good coin which has come it's trying to clear zeros to make people billionaire if you get time you can go through my videos and learn more about this cryptocurrency when you check here we can see that the total supply is 69,000 but you can see that when you come to the null address 29 sorry 69 sextillion that's quadrillion quintillion sextillion so it's above billion trillion quadrant that's why so that's the total supply so there's a video about all these technologies was the total supply was the maximum supply i've taken much time to elaborate on that so when you check here you can see the null address holding 29 sextillion so what this means is that this is what the developers created 69 sextillion but we have burned 29 of it out of the circulation. So when you check on Shibnobi's website, you can find out that the circulating supply is 39 or 60 because 29 60 plus has been burned out of circulation. So that's how cryptocurrency is. So that's how the that's a price mechanism of our cryptocurrency so when the market capitalization when people are buying more of the coin then the price tend to go out so no one controls cryptocurrency it's a decentralized system no one controls it it's fairly controlled by economics demand and supply analysis so the moment people start selling of their coin then this will cause the decrease in what supply. So the decrease in the price of a crypto is ascertained by what? When the market capitalization is going down. What will make it go down? When people begin to what? Sell. When you look at Shibnovi right now, when you check their desk trade, they are selling off Shibnovi. People are selling it off. So look at what has happened to the coin. As you can see over here, it's falling. Is having that ding dong battle is because of this because people are selling you understand so that's how cryptocurrency works so it's not just a thing of the internet it's not a, a fallacy or something it's something of a discipline it's something of a technological knowledge it's something of data science it's something that you need to get down and learn more about it so I've done a video explaining these concepts, the market capitalization and the circulating supply. You can check um, within this video and you find that video over there. You look at it, you take your time and learn more. If you have any question, you can put it in the comment section. See you next time. Remember to subscribe to this channel and always remember that AZF channel or AZF TV, whatever we do here is not financial advice. We're just educating the public. We're just trying to eradicate what people think, or we are just trying to clear um, misconception that people are misconstruing about cryptocurrency. We're just trying to educate the masses for us to understand that everything is knowledge, and after knowledge, we have power. See you next time. Bye bye.